Hi everybody, uh, I'm out at the field today with my new uh, RC Powers F-22 version 5. Um, I've got about 60 flights on this plane right now. I've just been having a heck of a great time uh, thrashing it around and finding out what it's capable of. So I thought it was about time I uh, tried to shoot a little flight uh, footage of it. Um, so today I'm just running a fairly standard 2212-6 uh, uh, 2200 kV motor, 6x4 prop, 40 amp speed controller, 2200 uh, 3 cell battery. Um, my all up weight as you're looking at it right now is just over 20 ounces, 20.5 I think. So uh, anyway, we'll give it a bit of a thrash here. You can look down below in the comments for more info on where to get the plans, details on the build, uh, that sort of stuff. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about uh, the throws and some of the other very unique features uh, about the F-22 version 5 that I think make it such a, a great little plane. So anyway, let's see what kind of fun we can have here. So I don't really even need to toss it much when the winds are calm. It just kind of flies out of my hands. Now I will say I learned the hard way on my very first maiden flight that if you've got some wind, you know, say more than five miles an hour, uh, really focus on trying to launch it directly into the wind. Those, those big um, vertical stabilizers, I think, can, can cause you some problems if you try and launch it in much of a crosswind. So, oop, sorry about the sun. So anyway, nice clean stall turn. I'm going to talk about these very unique under rudders. So there's, the rudders are actually on the bottom of the plane. And slow it down here, come by for a close pass, hopefully. Nice split S. Go into a nice loop. Very smooth and balanced throughout the loop. Just at about 60% power there. So just some, some nice figure eights. Requires very little control surface deflection to get it to move around. I'm just gonna show you, I'll bleed the speed off. And because of it's got such great vertical balance, it doesn't, it just sort of gently falls over, writes itself, it falls over upright. Uh, you know, it doesn't spill out to the side or flip upside down or do some crazy things like some of the previous F-22s would do if you got slow. So we'll go into a high speed, high G turn here. Just really, really carves through those turns, holds its energy so well, you know, no problems with the nose dropping bring her into wind here. So I'm gonna just slow it down here. And I, I'm gonna, so I've got it level. Now this turn, this is just with rudder. Okay, a little bit of up elevator. Oops. <laughs> That's all with rudder. Sorry, I got behind my head there. So very, very responsive, you know, even though they're small, they're perfectly sized and in just the right location to give you such great, good, clean uh, yaw response. Pull up in another loop. So I'm gonna try a little closer to show you that stall response. So yeah, it just falls forward nicely, you know, recovers itself because it's, it's got such good vertical balance. And even, you know, at. 20 and a half ounces with your standard 2200 kV motor. I'm getting some pretty good speed out of this. I'm really quite impressed with how, uh, how quick it is. So I'll bring it by a little closer here, try and show you a roll. Very crisp. Very responsive. I'm, I'm running all the controls, elevons, ailerons, and the under rudders, of course. That F-22 profile is just so cool looking in the sky, you know? <laughs> Oops, sorry about the sun. So again, I just got rudders here. I'll try and keep it in front of me this time. There we go. Okay, so my alarm just went off here. So we'll come in and do a kind of a battle break here. Take her low, transition low. Full throttle, pull her hard around. There we go, downwind. Roll it final. So the F-22 F version five just lands beautifully here as I hope I can demonstrate. Just tiny little bit of up elevator there to hold it off near the end. 
but uh, you know with that great vertical stability um, it just settles itself right in and just uh, just comes in on a, on a beautiful natural descent rate. So here we go. So I talked uh, several times during the flight about uh, a vertical balance. So uh, you know it's basically in relation to where the battery is in relation to the wing plate. The weight is nice and low on the uh, on the F22. So if you if you do something like like this, you can see it it naturally wants to roll on its on its uh, on its belly kind of thing. So it's got really great balance, which I think for a stealth type airplane like this, you know, with the with the really uh, sort of space age wing shape and and all the controls all uh, sort of all jammed together, that's really really crucial. And I've noticed a huge difference. I've flown all the RC Powers F22s before this one, version one, version two, version three. And this is by far the most stable and most forgiving of, uh, of all the F-22s. The other thing that I really like is if, if I take the plane, you know, end to end here, break it into a percentage, the, the motor, is, motor mount here is located at about 58% of the, of the total length of the plane. So what that does is it allows my center of gravity is about here and my battery is you know, here. So it, it allows the sort of where the center of thrust is, if you want, center of gravity, center of mass, all allows them to be very close together. And it makes the plane just rotate so much more easily and effortlessly in all three axes. And it just gives you a good balance because your moment of inertia is not really long and sort of the moment, the tail moment and the nose moment are much closer in, in length, you know, if that, if that, uh, makes any sense without me getting too geeked out there. So let me just show you my throws. Oh, ooh, poor old back. So I've got about an inch in the, uh, in the elevator, in, in the pitch, and same in the roll in my, uh, in my elevator, or my ailerons. I'm running about three eighths of an inch. And here's the, uh, the magic. Here, let me just get myself sorted out here. So here's the under rudders. Whoops, there's the under rudders. So quite a bit more throw. Ooh, and throttle kill on there. Uh, quite a bit more throw there, but you know, you see they're very, they're not very big, but seriously effective. Like a really, really great design there by uh, by RC Powers. Very, very impressed with uh, with how that works. So um, yeah, I just built this. This is built out of. Uh, you know, model plane foam. Since uh, Depron's going away, my airfoils are uh, are made out of uh, Dollar Tree foam. Um, yeah, just a just a blast to fly. Uh, I didn't go real crazy on the slow speed there, but I found if you're gonna do a more advanced setup, I found that uh, flaps. I can get the plane angles here. <laughs> my buffoonery. I found that flaps work the best if you want to get really slow because it deflects as the air you're really slow or in a higher angle of attack it actually deflects the dirty air away from the elevon if they were spoiler on flipped up the other way it actually flips the dirty air up and then dumps it onto the uh, elevon and of course because the F22 and you know maybe the T50 that RC Powers has the the wing and the the uh, horizontal stabilizer are so close together if you uh, if you end up having too much dirty air coming off of the uh, the ailerons uh, at really slow speed then uh, you know it's going to affect how the elevons work but anyway enough for my jibber jabbering folks uh, just uh, super impressed you can see it looks really nice and clean down through the center there great airflow back to the prop nice and sleek uh, profile in the nose which I think you know even like I said for with your standard little 2200 motor uh, you can really scoot along and have a heck of a lot of fun so uh, very, very impressed with this plane. Uh, by far the uh, the best uh, RC Powers F-22 that I've ever flown. And uh, like I said, I'm just having just a heck of a good time uh, flying it. So anyway, I hope you'll check it out again. Please uh, see the comments below the video um, for more info. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. And uh, park jet noise, the sound of freedom, baby. Take care. Bye now.